Hi, how you doing? Back in the kitchen again, and this time we're making something with more than four ingredients. Thump 11, 47. It's got a deep voice and it's really funny. <sighs> okay, so no noises, no kicking things. I can't kick you in the nuts. Fuck. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how are you? We're back in the kitchen again. I've got my, uh, my cooking hat on. And we're going to make something with more than four um, ingredients. My wife is helping me this time, and she just showed me her boobs. So, um, so I'm laughing. All right, let's see what ingredients we need. Okay, it's a stew, so we need meat. All right, there was a deal on some uh, meat. What is that? What kind of meat is that? Top sirloin. Top sirloin meat for seven bucks. So we're going to cube that up. It's going to be a nice lovely stew if I didn't make that clear. Uh, there's an onion. We'll, get, we'll use two onions for it. Some carrots, mushrooms, some tomato paste, uh, some chicken broth, some beer. Dark beer is probably the way to go because you're looking, looking for flavor. Some thyme, some bacon, and some celery and dice up your bacon okay, use a separate cutting board for that because we're smart we don't cross contaminate no way now we cut up our steak like that okay and if you're confused if you didn't do well in school here's how you dice it okay cut it like that and then you turn it there you go and then you cut it like that into chunks see math is easy when you're dealing with meat then get your wife to do the onions rough chop Nothing fancy. Make her do two of them. And then cook your bacon. That's my job because it smells good. And then make it look like that with smoke coming out of the pan. <laughs> never, never do that. Throw in your meat. Oh boy. Make sure it's all touching the pan. And then, why not, throw some more meat in. Oh, it's just so good. All right. Now season it. Here's some salt. Here's some pepper. Come on with the pepper. There we go. Cook it until it looks like that. Maybe a little more brown. I did. And then keep moving it with a fork because it makes it taste better. Throw in your onions into that grease that you previously used. Fat doesn't evaporate, by the way. Make your onions look like that. Shake them around and say chef things. Yell at the dishwasher. Drink beer. Make sure it's good. Oh, it is. And then throw it in a bunch of onions. Mmm, Rickard's dark. Kinda tasty. Yeah, it's better than a stew. Alright, make sure it's all in there. Every last drop, you drunk. And, and then reduce it a bit and then throw it in there. Alright, that's, that's your pot. Throw in some tomato paste. What? Not done? Like more? Put in more. There's some veggies. Mushrooms, onions, oh, carrots, and celery. I already put the onions in there. Here's the uh, chicken broth. Uh, you could use beef, but apparently there's enough beef in there. Alright, so just use the chicken broth. It's lighter and it's chickeny. It's enough to cover them. Your vegetables will float. No big deal. They'll drown later. And now throw in some thyme. We have nothing but thyme and I'm throwing in a lot of it. My wife is asking me right now, why are you taking them off the stock when you just want to have one big stock in there? And I'm saying, I don't know, because it's cookie. This is more cookie-like. And then you bring it up to a boil, okay? And then you watch it boil, and then you put a lid on it when you're tired of watching it boil. Mmm, that's probably about 20 minutes later or something like that. Very delicious. Hey, where are you going with the camera? Pot's over there. Look at that. Mmm, there's nothing better. Gump 1147. It's got a deep voice and it's really funny. Subscribe, 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 subscribe,